रघुपति राघव राजा राम पति तपावन सीता राम हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jaya Radha Nil Madhav Radha Nil Madhav Shri Radhe Jaya Radha Giridhari Radha Giridhari Shri Radhe Jaya Giri Govardhan, Giri Govardhan, Giri Govardhan, Jaya Giri Govardhan. Jaya Sita Ram Lakshman Hanuman, Sita Ram Lakshman Hanuman. Jaya Nitai Chaitanya Chandra Nitai Gaura Chandra Gaura Hari
Jaya Jaya Prabhu Pad Prabhu Pad Prabhu Pad Jai Prabhu Pad Nitai Gaura Hari Bol Hari Bol Hari Bol Nitai Gaura Hari Bol Vajrakacharya, Asta Tatar, Sata Sri Sivan, Swami Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada Ki, Jaya Om Vishnu Pad Paramahansa Pai Vajrakacharya, Asta Tatar, Sata Sri Sivan, Swami Grace, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, Srila Prabhupada Ki, Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrinda Ki, Namacharya Srila Haridas Thakur Ki, Founder Acharya Viskan Srila Prabhupada Ki, Viskan yeah. Guru Vindaki, yeah. Pemsha Kuho Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhupada Jananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vashadi Gaur Bhakta Vindaki, yeah. Sri Sri Vada Krishna Gopagopina Shamakun Vadakun Giri Govardhan Ki, yeah. Sri Vidavan Dham Ki, yeah. Sri Mayapur Navadip Dham Ki, Shri Jagannath Puri Dham Ki, Shri Vanila Madhava Dham Ki, Bhakti Devi Ki, Yamun Devi Ki, Ganga Mai Ki, Shri Bhakti Tulsi Maharani Ki, Samaveda Bhakta Vinda Ki, the most merciful Lord Jip Shri Shri Nittai Chaitanya Chandra, Nittai Gaur Chandra Ki, Shri Shri Gari Raj Govardhan Ki, Shri Shri Vanda, Giridhari Ki, yeah. and the most beautiful Lordship, Shri Shri Vahanila Madhava Ki, yeah. most auspicious Ram Napami, Otsava Ki, yeah. all glories to the assembled devotee, yeah. all glories to the assembled devotee, yeah. all glories to the assembled devotee, yeah. all glories to Shri Shri Guru and Shri Gauranga. Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjavi Hadi Madhava Kunjavi Hadi Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjavi Hadi Madhava Kunjabi Hadi 
Mother's divine grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada Ki Gora Premanandi. Om the Bhagavate Vasu Devaya. Om the Bhagavate Vasu Devaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya On the occasion of Ram Nomi, we'd like to read from Canto 5, Chapter 19, Text Number 6. Navaisa Atmanat Atmanat Atmatam Suratam Su Suratamaha Saktas Trilokyam Bhagavan Vasudevaha Nasri Kritam Kashmalam Ashnuvita Nalakshanam the Lakshmanam Chapi Vihatam Arhati 
นวายสะอาดมาดมัตธรรมสุริธรรมหสัทัสตรีโลกยามบกวานวาสุเดวะนัสตรีกริตัมคัชมาลัมอัชนวิตานลักษมณัมชาปีวิหัตุมอาร์หตินวายสะอาดมาดมวัตถามสุริตมหาสักทัสตรีโลกยามพระกวานวาสุเดวะนัสตรีคริตัมคัชมาลัมอัชนุวิตานัลักษณัมชาปีวิหัตุมอาร์หตินั่นไว้อินดีดสหะฮีอัตมาดัสพรีมโซลอัตมาวัตามของดัสเซลฟ์เรียลไอซ์โซลสุริตธรรมะฮะดัสเบสต์เพื่อนสักทะฮะ attached three lokyam to anything within the three worlds. Bhagavan, the supreme personality of Godhead. Vasudevaha, the all-pervading Lord. Na, not, stri kritam. Obtained because of his wife, kashmalam, sufferings of separation, ashnovita, would obtain, na, not, lakshmanam, his younger brother lakshmana, cha, also, api, certainly. 
Vihatam to give up. Arhati be able. Translation since Lord Sri Ramachandra is the Supreme Personality Godhead Vasudev, he is not attached to anything in this material world. He is the most beloved super soul of all self realized souls and he is their very intimate friend. He is full of all opulences. Therefore, he could not possibly have suffered because of separation from his wife, nor could he have given up his wife and Lakshmana, his younger brother. To give up either would have been absolutely impossible. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. In defining the Supreme Personality of Godhead, we say that he is full of all, in all six opulences, wealth, fame, strength, influence, beauty, and renunciation. He is called renounced because he is not attached to anything in this material world. He is specifically attached to the spiritual world and the living entities there. The affairs of the material world take place under the superintendence of Durga Devi, Shristi Stati Pralaya Sadhana Shaktire Ka, Chayeva Yasya Bhuvanani Bibharti Durga. Everything is going on under the strict rules and regulations of the material energy represented by Durga. Therefore, the Lord is completely detached and need not give attention to the material world. Sita Devi belongs to the spiritual world. Similarly, Lakshmana, Ramchandra's younger brother, is a manifest, manifestation of Sankarsana. And Lord Ramachandra himself is Vasudeva, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Paragraph. Since the Lord is always spiritually qualified, he is attached to servants who always render transcendental loving service unto him. He is attached to the truth in life, not to Brahminical qualities. Indeed, he is never attached to any material qualities, although he is the super soul of all living entities. He is specifically manifest to those who are self-realized and he is especially dear to the hearts of his transcendental devotees because Lord Ramachandra descended to teach human society how dutiful a king should be, he apparently gave up the company of Mother Sita and Lakshmana. Factually, however, he could not have given them up. One should therefore learn about the activities of Lord Ramachandra from a self-realized soul, then one can understand the transcendental activities of the Lord. These verses from chapter 19, they're spoken by one who knows Lord Ramachandra. One might say, better than anybody else as we discussed yesterday evening because he's the best of the Lord's devotees although he has many best devotees Hanuman is very special and as we heard the other day he's engaged perpetually till the end of this universe along with the other Devotees, Rishtasena and others chanting and hearing the glories of Lord Ramachandra perpetually with great absorption. That's what the verse says, with great absorption. So he knows he's not just becoming purified, he's not a sadhaka, he's a perfected devotee, and because of his perfectedness. 
He knows everything. Everything knowable is known by Hanuman about Lord Ramachandra. It's not that he doesn't know the Leela. He knows the Leela. He's mentioning in this verse specifically Sita and Lakshman being given up So what is that renunciation? That's an interesting, very interesting topic. The, the, the renunciation of the Supreme Lord for his consort, his eternal energetic expansion, Sita. And his first expansion Sankarsana in the form of Lakshmana. You know, in, in short, it's a pastime, and we're, be, we're given a clue why this pastime, and the answer that's given is because Lord Ramachandra appeared in this world to teach the ways of virtue, and as a king, virtue trumps other things, like what you would like, or what you might not like, what brings you some sense of happiness or what brings you some sense of distress. So specifically, within the verse, um, kashmalam, kashmalam, sufferings of separation, word for word, sufferings, It's a whole nice topic, a whole discussion on the topic of Ramachandra and the Leela of Ramachandra to putting on full display the secondary rasa of shoka. Harsha shoka, distress, suffering. The whole of Rama Ramayana or Ram's Leela is just putting on display not only his suffering, but you know, this one's that one, the other ones. It's filled with it. It's filled with it right from the very beginning, even before the Leela is narrated by Valmiki, when he kills the Crouncher bird and he makes this utterance that he doesn't know where that came from. He curses the hunter that you will suffer long duration for this heinous act of killing the crown chip bird and Valmiki becomes astonished it, it's described he went through different transcendental emotion to being like ashamed of having spoken something that's completely out of character for a person of his realization. And then some sadness because he, he did it, and then some joy because he started getting some, some realization. And as he was contemplating, Lord Brahma came and informed him, I want you to know that it was I who inspired the goddess of learning, Saraswati, to speak through you. She spoke these words. You just were the mouthpiece for her words because it's an, it's an essence of the entire literature that I'd like you to compile because prior to that experience, prior to the crown bird being killed, Narada had visited Valmiki's ashram Narada, who had heard from his father, Lord Brahma, the one billion verses of Ramayana, in his own uncanny way, Narada knew where to go, what to do, what to say at the right time and everything. Narada is very special. So he visited Valmiki's ashram because there was some upcoming service for him. And Valmiki asked some questions. 
he asked, who, what are the characteristics of a great hero? And he listed, according to Valmiki Ramayana, 16 characteristics, which prompted Narada to answer by giving a synopsis of the entire Ramayana. Then Narada instructed Valmiki, meditate on these 74 verses and take the service of compiling a literature that expands these 74 verses. He didn't give him the one billion, just 74. And medit so he meditated, then he went to, this, to the river for, what, for one mahurta. He meditated on these 74 verses, and then he went to the river and did what he did. He saw a hunter kill a mating male crane. Then he cursed, and he was shocked. And then Brahma came and said, please know it was I who inspired these words to be spoken by you, by Saraswati, the goddess of learning. This is a very important verse. And the very important verse is a verse of Shoka, Sorrow. He was sad for the Krancha bird. He was sad for, you know, now the, the curse being uttered because once uttered by a Brahmana, that's it. He'd have to suffer. As you have caused, you will experience suffering. You have to wish it upon somebody. It's just a karmic reaction, but he wished it upon him. So, anyway, the theme, one of the themes throughout the whole of Ramayana is sorrow and more sorrow and more sorrow and you want to close the book because there's too much sorrow. That's if you're looking at through a material lens because through a material lens there's lots of sorrow again and again, different versions and varieties of sorrow. But here's Hanuman saying, no question. I'll read. He could not possibly have suffered because of separation from his wife. Now that's, he suffered, but he didn't suffer. That, in other words, that suffering was an ecstasy. And this is how, how Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu explains it. That which is apparent in terms of transcendental rasa, it's apparent only, it's not what suffering is, it's a transcendental suffering. So it's suffering, but not a worldly suffering. So that's what Hanuman is saying. Not possibly could have this worldly sense of kashmalam, suffering in separation. And th th that little message applies to Krishna Leela as well. The separation of the residents of Vrindavan the separation, etc., etc., etc. So many nice examples of separation in Krishna's Leela. But it's a transcendental emotion, so it's not worldly emotion. And why? So the, because they're inseparable. The sun and the sunshine are inseparable. Is it possible? The answer is no. Is it possible to find sunshine somewhere where there's no source of that sunshine, so sun? Not possible. Or sun without sunshine? Not possible. Not possible. So Sita without Ram, possible? Not possible. So what is it? It's a Leela. It's a Leela of separation but not a sadness of separation, it's an ecstasy of separation, which, as Prabhupada concludes the purport, one cannot understand these things without proper guidance from a very experienced devotee that not only speaks the words of previous acharyas, that's nice too, but has realization that it's, it's not. And Hanuman has the realization He's, he's the guru of 
Ramachandra's pastimes. You want to understand Ramachandra's pastimes, go to the Guru, he'll explain. He's explaining. And <coughs> the Leela of having a younger brother, it's a Leela. But transcendentally speaking, in the spiritual world, where there's no birth and you know, no passage of time, Lakshman is the internal associate of Lord Ramachandra as Sankarshan is an expansion of Vasudev eternally. And so in the Leela, that's who he is. And is it possible for Sankarshan, the first expansion of Vasudev, to be separated from the source? <laughs> There's a Leela, but it's not possible. Existentially not possible. Leela wise, Certainly. So we know very well, I want to end because I have a, a flight to catch, but to catch the points, there are three circumstances where Lord Ramachandra is separated from Sita. One, Ravana is kidnapping her. Two, Ramachandra sending Sita to the ashram of Valmiki to bear their twin boys. Three, when Sita entered the earth, and, and, and all three scenes are horrific from the worldly perspective and the apparent emotion that Ramachandra underwent each time, each time, each time. Again, he's not attached to anything of this world that was built into the verse and the purport. He's the source of everything, but everything in this world is going on under his direction, and Durga is overseeing it, making it all happen. So he's not attached to the happenings. It's just a necessary, essential understanding of the source of everything is this opulence of Bhagavan, of being renounced, completely renounced. Devotees like Queen Kunti also has the same characteristic of renunciation. She prays to Krishna for renunciation, but she already has it. She's not a worldly person. She's not a sadhaka. She's a perfected person, but she's praying as if she's not, to, praying to Krishna for detachment from bodily relations. So Sita is a bodily relation, Lakshman is a bodily relation, and as if he was attached on the bodily platform, he has some pain of sep feelings of separation, but. It's a leela. And, and the, the feelings of separation, there's a part of the science of rasa, is love intensifies during separation. It's a long description in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu and further in Ujjwala Nilamani, but it's, there are different, 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 different Sanskrit terminologies for <clears throat> stages of intensity, of feeling, in the circumstance of separation, but it's a rasa, it's, it's an ecstasy. It's not just ecstasy, it's prema, prema by chitra. So it's, it, there's science and science, but it's, it's an ecstasy that enhances the, the expectation of meeting. When Sita enters into the earth, Ram is grieving he says to Bhumi, you bring Sita back or I'll destroy you. Brahma comes and says, stop. You'll be with Sita shortly. So be patient. Because that feeling of separation intensifies love. It's just this part of the science of rasa. It's true in Krishna's Leela, it's true in Ram's Leela, it's true in transcendental pastimes. So Hanuman understands all that. 
not possible. I'll read again. He could not possibly have suffered because of separation from his wife, nor could he have given up his wife. That was the second separation. And Lakshmana, his younger brother, the Leela with Lakshmana, see if I can remember it. If I don't remember it correctly, somebody can correct me. Dervasa Muni came to visit. He requested conversation with Ramachandra, private conversation. So that was the, you know, Lakshman, stand by the door, let it, don't let anybody in. <laughs> private conversation. Circumstance arose. Lakshmana had to enter. And he entered, and then he the business was taken care of. Lakshman departed, and then after the circum, circumstance with Dravasa Muni was completed, then um, Lakshman said, I, "I violated your instruction, so I'm going to enter into fire." Now, when there's uh, circumstances where Arjuna had a vow that if such and such, then I'll enter into fire. And Krishna always intervenes. So he doesn't enter into fire because Krishna is attached to Arjuna. But he allowed Lakshman. So how could he give up Lakshman, his younger brother? It's a leela. It, it, it has everything to do with the Mariada Purushottama, or as is described in the purport, teaching how a king is to not be governed by emotion, but be governed by dharma. When a vow is taken, you uphold the vow, whatever that may mean. Convenience and convenience, you uphold vows. And others should uphold vows. Now, Krishna did tricky things because that's he's Krishna. He did different things to prevent Arjun from entering into fire. But isn't it so that the, the verse again is there's no question of his giving up Sita, voluntarily giving up, sending her away, and giving up Lakshman. Not quite, no question. They're eternally connected. To give up either would have been absolutely impossible on you know the existential platform, on the Leela platform, it happened. So he understands the Leela because he understands Lord Ramachandra and his position and his moods of love with his devotees. Not possible. Leela, he, he did. Emotion and existential reality, not possible. Absolutely impossible. So during the day we'll have opportunity to do many different things besides, you know, their common duties, but hopefully there'll be some time during the day when you can dive into Ramayana of one form or another and appreciate the transcendental nature of Lord Ramachandra and hit the lessons of life given in Ramayana. Very, very rich. Let's see if there's some discussion. Yes. You, thank you for a wonderful class. I enjoyed the home program yesterday as well. The only thing I wanted to say was thank you for talking about Lakshman. Um, the past few days you had asked um, who is the the more diligent or more preferred uh, servitor of Ram, and I was thinking Lakshman because Lakshman left with him. He never considered whether he was going to leave with him, kind of pushed for it. He built them a house and made them clothes and stood by him the whole time without any thought of no his own material benefit. Yeah. So thank you so much. I'm a Lakshman man.
You're a Lakshman fan. Okay, good. I know some other people that are too. Anyone else? Hare Krishna Maharaj, uh, can you please explain the meaning of ma Mariada Purushottam? Say Mariada. Mariada. Ma ma Mariada. Mariada means virtue. Virtuous. Virtuous or virtue. And he's the Purusha Uttama who manifests virtue. Specifically, it means, you know, another way of saying the same thing is he always abided by Dharma and he never deviated from Dharma. Mariada Purushottama. And then there's people that don't understand his Leela and say, well, what about this and what about that? Killing Vali from behind a tree and sending his wife into the forest when she was pregnant and he knew it. And, you know, how, how is this the upholder of Dharma? People question sometimes. Radha Krishna, anything? You're good. Okay. Okay. Srila Prabhupada ki. Sri Ramachandra Maha Mahotsava ki. Gaur Pimanandi.
Hare Hanuman, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram. Where is Jai Shri Ram? Living in Hanuman, where is Hanuman? Living in Jai Shri Ram. Singing, singing, Rama Rama Rama. Playing Veena, Rama Rama Rama. Flying, jumping, Rama Rama Rama. Thinking.